What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I've got for you one of the craziest entitled parent stories I've ever come across. You're not going to want to miss it. But firstly, subscribe to my channel. We're 5,000 subscribers away from half a million. So do it. Subscribe. Oh no wait, I'm still waiting for you to hit the button. Oh wait, you've hit it? Okay, let's go. My girlfriend's entitled mother is annoyed at her for deleting a tracking app she let her mum use. Now, OP is posting this for her since her account doesn't meet the karma requirements. I am a truck driver and my mother has been envious of me ever since I started training. She's wanted to be a truck driver her whole life and my occupation has enabled her to live vicariously through me. I was never necessarily fond of this, but she's my mother, so I let it go. When I finished training and started driving, I downloaded a family tracking app on my phone so my boyfriend who would join me on the road a little later on could see where i was and help direct me to nearby truck stops the gps in my truck doesn't let me change where i'm going while driving i offered to share my location via the app with my mother since she is so passionate about truck driving and it would give her a chance to experience it just a little bit but she took this as an opportunity to attempt to run my life for me she would often get paranoid from watching videos of trucking accidents and constantly blew up my phone which i'm not allowed to check while driving warning me of various places and things to look out for now other people might be grateful for this constant advice giving but to me it was just annoying she also went completely ballistic whenever the app was disabled due to low or dead battery and would blow up me and my boyfriend's phone in a panic demanding to know where i am and if i'm safe while i do appreciate the fact that she cares about me having to deal with this for a month straight started to take its toll on me and my job i got the chance to visit my sister who knows of my mother's bipolar actions and she warned me to delete the app before she takes things too far i took her advice and deleted the app after letting my boyfriend know what was going on i gave my mum a call and let her know that i no longer wanted to use the app and deleted it but this sent her into a rage and she started berating me and my sister who she knew i visited earlier i ignored her tantrum and gave her the cold shoulder for a month to let her cool down her birthday came around the corner and i sent her a well-meaning message wishing her a happy birthday she responds to said message complaining about how me and my sister were planning a special event for my father they're divorced and he's way better to me and my sister but not her keep in mind my father and sister live in texas and my mum is all the way in california so it's difficult to arrange anything for her given how far she is here is a screenshot of the conversations between me and her to shed a little light on how bat crazy she can be well guys i think it's only right that we have a look at those screenshots right away to truly get a picture of what this entitled mum is all about hello are you still alive hello mama sorry i've been super busy lately i'm heading to bed i hope you sleep well wow okay what's wrong sleep well okay nini i love you love you too call me tomorrow hey thanks be more like your sister don't call me ever again don't ever bother coming out here either i'm sorry you felt like i was cleaning i was just enjoying what you were doing but i guess i'll just stay in caregiving since that's what i know and i can't trust you to train me there's nothing wrong with being a mum and worrying about your kid and i pray to god you don't ever have any i freaking knew your sister had something to do with this i just freaking knew it i was leading so much from you i guess you meant learning now i'm over it and you okay i guess that op has just told her, her mom about deleting the app i was not clinging i was trying to learn from you but whatever i just told your boyfriend who is op the person who posted the story i don't ever want to see you i'm sorry i care so much about your safety and you took it the wrong way and you will never get your pictures from me i'll just throw them away you can tell your sister the same thing all her pics in the trash too have a good life i am changing my number so you can never call me wow just wanted to wish you a happy early birthday i love you but it's not till saturday you know i'm kind of sad that you and your sister would plan something for your dad's birthday and mine just passed i didn't even get a call from your sister but i talked to you though i know but your sister she always does for everyone else and that is the end of that wow well as you guys may have noticed i've taken a couple of days off from recording videos just so you know have a little break and this is the first story i come back to <laughs> i'm kind of wishing i did it that, wow that is that is mental yeah i mean these screenshots just show don't they how crazy your mum is uh or your girlfriend's mum anyway op 
yeah, I guess um, tracking apps, they're very controversial. I'm not a fan myself, but you know, my parents and my sister use them because they all don't really care and they just say it's nice to know where everyone is. I guess if one person doesn't want to use them, then it's on them to say, you know what, I don't want you knowing where I am at all points. That's how I feel anyway. Yeah, in this situation, it's got a little bit weird. And now that OP or OP's girlfriend has said, I'm not using that anymore, the mum doesn't really have a choice in the matter. I'm sorry, that's just the way it works. We all know as well, when the mum says, I don't ever want to hear from you again, I don't ever want to see you, she definitely doesn't mean that. In fact, she wants the complete opposite. I'm not even sure why she said that. Uh, yeah, the logic here, just really shocking once again. Guys, let me know your opinions on tracking apps. Are you for them? Are you against them? I think in the right hands, they can be okay. But when they're with entitled parents like this, they're just a no-go for me. Now moving on to our next story. Entitled mother and son would like to trade expensive lightsaber replica for a much cheaper one. This happened about a year or so ago in California's Disneyland, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to be specific. It was basically my geeky dream to go there and get a Savis workshop lightsaber for my 14th birthday. I was eating at one of the quick bite restaurants there. It had only burritos and it was an open area with a moving statue in the middle. An entitled mum and her kid were also eating there. The kid said, Yo, cool lightsaber. Check this one out. He shows me his lightsaber that he must have bought somewhere else. It was the plastic kind, not one from Savvy's. But I'll admit it was still authentic and double bladed, so I really loved it. We talked for a while. It seemed that he was a hardcore Star Wars fan as well. The entitled mum comes over. Hey, kid, come on. The order is ready. Uh, would you mind us sitting at the unoccupied half of the table? She says. My dad says, Sure, go ahead. I won't bore you, but a conversation ensues between our two groups. They seem like really nice people and eventually ask where we got the saber. We tell them and eventually they finish their food and presumably head over to Savvy's. In a matter of time, they return. Wow, no kidding her. Huh? Those things are expensive. My mum and dad say, yeah, for sure. But it's his birthday, so we made an exception. Well, I saw you liked my saber, so I was wondering if we could trade? Honestly, I really considered it at first. It was cool and all. But I noticed the price difference and the value of the lightsaber to me. No thanks, but I think they have some good replicas at the shop adjacent to Savvy's if you want some. Savvy, Savvy's, I'm not sure how to pronounce that by the way. We get up to leave and the entitled mum starts insisting and practically shoving the thing in my face. Without wasting too much time, eventually they trail us to the other end of the park and the start of the line for the Millennium Falcon ride. So a cast member got involved and the entitled mum starts bringing up excuses and asking to see the rules of the park. She insists on trading but the cast member draws her away and I enjoy the rest of the day. Well, thank God that cast member was there because otherwise I reckon that might have got a little bit ugly. You know, we've seen a lot of stories like this one before. It starts off quite friendly. The, you know, the kid, the entitled parent says, oh, can I see uh, whatever whatever object you have? Then they say, yeah, you want to trade? When you say no, then it gets a little bit hairy sometimes. But yeah, as I say, good thing that someone was there to sort that entitled mum out or at least distract her. I mean, at the end of the day, your saber was still intact. Your day wasn't ruined. That wasn't one of the worst stories I've ever heard. Thank God. Now moving on to our final story of today's video. Entitled mum tries to set me up with... Okay, just quickly, before I read this title out, it is so mad. Listen to the words in this. Entitled mum tries to set me up with a 10-year-old, gets mad because I'm gay, and then screams at me for money when her child tried to remove my bathing suit. Have you, have you ever heard of a weirder title to a story than this? I haven't. Let's go. This is a whole sandwich of heck. Yeah, it certainly sounds it. So basically, I was at the beach with my girlfriend. This was before quarantine. My girlfriend was playing volleyball with some kids and throwing them in the ocean, etc. Anyway, so I was chilling with my friend when someone tapped my shoulder. I turn around and see a big woman. I'm sorry if that offends anyone. Excuse me, do you have a boyfriend? She came off a little rude, but I brushed it off. I said no and was about to say that I am gay, but she did disappears. Okay, so I assume that OP is a girl. I shrug it off and maybe a few minutes later, this 10 year old boy was like, wanna date me? I said no and he left. He started throwing a fit where the lady was and I saw her start walking towards me. Reminder, she tried to set me, a 15 year old female, there we go, up with her 10 year old kid. This is how the conversation went. How dare you reject my baby boy? 
Right off the bat, she was screaming at me. Now, I have autism and I'm not very good with confrontation. So I started to cry on the spot. My friend was about to say something, but got cut off as he comforted me. You female dog, stop crying. Thankfully, my girlfriend overheard the yelling and came to check it out. She stepped between me and the entitled mum as she was six foot one inches. She told the lady to duck off as the lady went on. Is this your sister? Well, your sister is so rude. After catfishing my baby boy and then breaking his heart. My girlfriend said, She's my girlfriend, idiot. Leave her alone. You insert homophobic slur here, unfortunately. My girlfriend has a short temper and she went red. And no, it wasn't sunburn. The entitled mum was about to protest as her husband yanked her away from us and my girlfriend started to comfort me, which was nice. We pushed this past us and tried to enjoy the rest of the trip. But like maybe an hour or so later, me and my friends and my girlfriend got out of the ocean to dry off for some lunch. And again, I felt a tug against me, this time at my bathing suit strings. It was the 10 year old boy. I didn't see him and only felt it as my immediate reaction was to hit whoever tried to undo my bathing suit. So of course I hit the kid to be fair I didn't hit him that hard just enough to push him away from me But he screamed like there was no tomorrow His entitled mum rushed over and comforted her baby boy and was about to go off on me as her husband aka my savior Pulled her away and told the kid to just deal with it Two minutes pass and we are sitting at a bench eating as the entitled mum comes up and demanded I give her $500 for hitting her son or else we are gonna sue I just stayed silent as in my mind I was thinking of staying quiet and letting others help me or just doing it myself I felt bad because I ruined the trip with the situation So I stood up and not my most proud moments threw my sandwich at her Are you gonna sue me because your kid invaded my personal space or maybe when your kid tries to take off my bathing suits? I said as seagulls came swooping for the sandwich She started over her words and let us be I felt bad about throwing the sandwich at her, but she was asking for it Yeah, dude, don't feel bad for yourself. I mean throwing the sandwich at her was the best thing you could have done First of all, it teaches her a lesson that if you do something bad you get repercussions Second of all, it's funny as anything. (laughs) That's 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 jokes You even say afterwards also if anyone's curious it was a turkey cheese and mustard sandwich So, you know a little bit of mustard on our face. That's class and you know Come on if someone's being homophobic towards you you deserve to stand up for yourself and you did very well So yeah, fair play to you op well done Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Entitled Parents. I really hope you have enjoyed it. A couple of absolutely mental stories in here. So, uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. Um, They were weird, but but very entertaining nonetheless. Uh, If you want more straight away from me, just check out what's on the screen. Loads of content up there. And also, the most important is that make sure you are subscribed. Really close now to half a million, just 5,000 subscribers away. So if you aren't, please hit that button. And I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new upload.